You know, I mentioned in the last episode that my computer crashed when I was recording. It was during the, the beginning of that conversation with her. We're into new stuff for me now. Day 13. I should really learn that automated broom and mop spell. Are you not doing it now? Oh, holy crap, what are they doing? <laughs> Sylvia, hi, I'm Luna. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Now yeah, that's the warmest welcome I've had in a long time. It's no less than you deserve. I mean, I saw you at the competition the whole town did. Is she an insect? Cool under pressure, knowledgeable and confident. I'm talking about you, FYI. But are you ready to seize the opportunity? It's, the, it's this, it's like the really spindly arms. Is she based on an insect or a rabbit? Yeah, I think she is, because those I think those are wings. But are you ready to seize the opportunities that your victory is bringing your way? Hmm? Uh, I, I'm sensing a sales pitch. Oh, intuitive too. You're the full packy, Sylvia. I promise I won't keep you long. I'm here in my capacity as... She makes weird noises when the text comes up. That's cool. I'm here in my capacity as founder and sole proprietor of Rafter's newest, best and boldest marketing agency. Now I know what you're thinking. Do I even need marketing, Luna? I'm killing it without resorting to your absurd tricks, Luna. Shut up about marketing and take a day off before you crash and burn, Luna. <laughs> well, I'm biased, I know, but I still think marketing is the right choice for your business. I totally agree. Rafter's economy is in constant flux as total chaos, at least it appears to be. But getting the right message out there at the right time? TLDR, I'll give you an advantage. She's got a phone. What is the... Like, cameras and phones? What, what's going on with this? It gives you an advantage, and I'd like to humbly suggest that you enjoy having one of those. <laughs> no, it does not sound like cheating. That would be a nice change of pace. Being the underdog gets old. I knew you'd see the sense in it. She just took a, a selfie, I think. Well, you certainly make a compelling pitch. Ah, oh, thanks. Anyone who's been selling anything should refine their elevator pitch, you know. What's an elevator? Stay strong and the sky's the limit. Elevator pitch. Seriously, what's an elevator? Drawn in opening hand can only be played at the start. Increase interest by five and apply sympathy. That is a really good one, so I, I just need one of those. And it will always be drawn in the opening hand. I can see the wisdom in that. I know, right? So listen, come to my office and we'll, we'll take chaos in our hands and we'll squeeze it and smother it and crush it, Sylvia. We'll crush it. It'll be fun, I promise. Well, she's a weird little little gal. A bone to pick, a vegan-led protest of the Heroes Guild result in the slowdown of animal products. Flesh and bones and essence will cost more. Hidden depth charges. Through the excessive use of explosives, a cat pirate crew has scared off a school of predatory stingrays. Freeing up the ocean's bounty so they cost less and have increased loot jobs. Ah, oh, that's a really cool one. Bottle up these greater mana potions. Two star, not bad. Let's put in the new ocean one because that's eight and a 240, so it is just better than the glass one. I don't think I'm going to get this one done, you know, just the taste and the time it's going to take and I don't have any fuel left, so no, I, I think I think I, I need to give that one up and... Oh, I can't believe I bloody failed it. But I will turn this one in. What have I got? Two star, one star, two star. I will turn this one in then. Off you go. Unlock Zid. There's so many feathers. I wonder if owls ever go bald. Oh, what on earth did she just come out of? Sylvia, you're one talented witch. Whoa, where did you come from? I'm travelling in style these days. Makes it easier to avoid nosy journalists without having to duck in a random shops. Although I'm awfully glad I ducked into yours. The potion you sent me was out of this world. I'm glad you liked it. Did I ever? My vocal cords are still thrumming with energy. I even mesmerised a heckler in the middle of my set. I feel like I could take on a monster. Maybe you should put that to the test. I hear the guild is recruiting. And do you think I have what it takes to go out there and be an hero? I'm not sure. Making music is my calling. It's who I am. But I'll admit, the idea is me intrigued. I'm Zid, by the way. I should have introduced myself before. Nice to meet you officially, Zid. Although... I suddenly can't shake the feeling that I know you from somewhere. Well, you might actually. My stage name is Zidriel. Wait. No. 
Are you the Zidriel Superstar Singer Zidriel? One and the same, but keep it under wraps if you don't mind. I'm trying to keep a low profile these days. You're doing a good job, I don't think I would ever have seen through your disguise. Funny to think of it as a disguise. This is the real me. From my point of view, Zidriel feels more like the disguise. Well, like Batman. Who's Batman? Me usual look is calculated for mass appeal, bleach, uh, bottle blonde hair, lip gloss, a very reasonable number of piercings. Turns out, left to me own devices, I've got a freak flag that needs to be flown. The fact that most people don't recognise me is a nice bonus. Well, I gotta say, I absolutely love your look. And the guy you are avoiding the other day? Uh, paparazzo chasing a rumour. Thanks to you, he didn't get a good look at me. So for now, I'm flying under the radar. I get the enjoyment of playing music for the Heroes Guild. Without the pressure that comes from being, you know, known, I guess. Well, your secret is safe with me. I had a feeling, Sylvia. You just got one of those faces. And the pink hair is just top-notch. Your gift was so thoughtful. I didn't like the idea of lying to you after that. You should come by the guild hall sometimes. We could hang out. Until then, stay cool. She travels in a magic coffin. So, that's Zidriel, or Zid. Because I look through the, the romanceable characters, just quick glances, and it's like, I, I love her look. So, her or Saffron are the one I'm going to go for because... Ah, like, I, I really like Saffron, but she just looks so cool. So, we'll see. I'll get to know them both and I'll see which one I, I end up going for. I'm not set on which one yet, but she was the other one I was looking at. Damn, I'm six Magamins off being able to get the ice tonic I need for the competition. Six Magamins. All right, I'm going to go for it. I might get lucky, but I need to go buy some, uh, some fuel because I just have none. I might get lucky and it might tick over because there's a ch like two bonus stars so it's going to be like a uh, a zero and a one. No, because even then it gets a bonus, it's only going to go up to a two. I'm going to go for it. We'll, we'll find out, but I need to get some better ingredients. I need money, I need ingredients, I need everything. I don't have anything I need. I should actually upgrade my deck. Look at it, look at it, little sprite. A bardic hero, inspired in part by Sylvia's potions and encouragement, Zid has become a sanctioned adventurer with the Heroes Guild. Budding hero, expressed a happiness at a new life in Rafter and with finding a friend in Sylvia. Guildmaster, acquaintance, in explaining his family history, yep. Roxanne, enchantress, business contact, no longer intent on destroying Sylvia, and with nowhere else to go, she's moved into the basement. Luna, marketer, business contact, Luna, impressed by Sylvia's carnival victory, is excited by the prospect of working with her. I need to put that in my hand. I'm going to get rid of plant the seed because I just don't use it and I'll put that in instead. Carpenter, recent friend Saffron, who spends most of her time in the forest, has entrusted Sylvia with showing around town. M Muktuk, recent friend, opened up Sylvia about the important role his ancestors in, and his homeland play in guiding his artistic endeavours. I want to put um, probably both of these. I think I'm going to take out a set them up and put in a craftsmanship. And that's seven. Yeah. I'll put in two enthusiasm. Quinn, friend. Quinn has shared some personal details about how their visions work, but they seem to be holding something back. Yeah, about their mother. Feathered friend. Delighted with and surprised by her progress, Iggy has c continued his mentorship. Look at her little sprite, it's so adorable. Alright, let's try opening the shop. I don't... I was thinking about, like, doing the full sale day today, but I almost slipped on an owl feather. Uh, but I don't have the stock. Elevator pitch. Uh, sympathy, raise interest. You and this potion, a love story. I, d I don't bend that way. I want to make a deal with you. Oh, he's a picky one, which means he's not going to sell for much. The smell of all these potions is making me lightheaded. Uh, six, so... Scheme. Captivate. Ooh. Enthusiasm. Uh, craftsmanship. 37, and then close out. 55, not too bad, almost 200. Another day, another coin, right? Can we cut to the chase? Frankly, I'm working too hard. 
I hate that all of these have a required trait. It makes them... Like, they're hard enough to do on their bloody own without having a bloody required bloody trait in bloody every single bloody bloody one, a bloody 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 No, I can't do it. I'm sorry, I can't do it. It's really irritating. Picture it, deliciousness plus magic. Enthusiasm, nice. Wow. Craftsmanship. Okay. Not bad for one turn. My quest clock is ticking and I don't know. You're gonna make me work for it. Uh, set him up. Sympathy. Press the attack. Close it out. Oh, not great, but it'll do. If the paparask... If the paparask... Fuck's sake. If the... <laughs> If the paparazzi ask, you never saw me. This potion's got real stage presence. Picky. Oh, she's picky. You and this potion a love story. I can tell you like it. Very interested. Oh, very interested. Is that... Is that normally... If I write a song about this, it'd be a slow one. Uh, hold on, I'll find my groove. Uh, six left. Uh, I'm going to have to close out. I'm not going to go for another round. Now, music to my ears. You're the best and I'll tell everyone it's true. Uh, she, she, she's already gone. Whew. Ah, Zid the Bardic Hero. And there's Luna's Marketing. That showed up. Like, I had my cursor over here last time I came, like yesterday. And that briefly popped up on the screen. That was a bit of a bug. I've got to go see Zid, haven't I? Hey, Sylvia, you found me. I was hoping you would, because I've got news. Big news. Momentous, life-changing news. How's that for hype? My manager will be so proud. I'm definitely curious. I'll cut right to it. I've been thinking about how supercharged I was on, on your potion. And how you said that might be. I might have what it takes to be an hero. So I decided to give it a shot. I officially joined the Heroes Guild. Oh, won't you miss singing music? I, I thought that was your calling. Ah, uh, don't worry, I'm not giving that up, not for anything. The hero in is more of a side gig. I might seem completely disconnected from your music career, but that's not really true. All of the most popular songs are about hero heroic exploits, after all. You just have to figure that having a few exploits of my own will help me connect with the material, help me sell the emotion behind it. What about romantic exploits? Any plans there? Well, I'm single at the moment. Guess I'll have to see who catches me eye, won't I? Assuming I have time for that sort of thing. Banter aside, I've got to keep my skills sharp. Baptiste still wants me playing here as much as possible and it took some work to convince him I could swing both responsibilities at once. How'd you win him over? Same as always, I made me case. In the form of a song. The guild's got a singer, a real go-getter. I can make me magic guitar hop up and down. Her shows are great, but they'd be better if she were an hero. So come on, won't you let her? Once he started humming that to himself, I knew I had him. Maybe that's a lesson you can use. Surest way to win people over is with a little jingle. Jingle. Next two cards played cost two patients less. Ooh. I'll keep it in mind during my own song and dance. Good. After all, merchants are performers too. At least the good ones are. I'm glad you dropped in on me, Sylvia. I hope you'll keep me in mind for all your hero in needs. I'm green. You look rather blue to me, but I'm eager. Oh, and I'm affordable too. Now that's music to my ears. There's a little, like, guitar background music whenever she's on, on screen. What would she like? Fungus, maybe? I won't refuse. It's such a cute little little chibi sprite. Obviously, I'm going to rank her up immediately, aren't I? I'm ready for a break, sure. So, do I look any different? Because you're talking to a woman who's fought monsters and lived to tell the tale, and my guitar keeps bouncing. I just... It's made of rubber. 
is it amazing tell me more hooked eh it's the first rule of bardic st storytelling start with a strong opening act oh they're so cool looking warming up for three turns also primed next card costs one less Warming up, raise interest by five at the start of the customer's turn, and they cannot gain shield. Wow. That would work for selling potions, too. But don't leave me wondering, what, what's it been like starting out as a hero? You know, in some ways, it's just exactly how the songs and stories describe it. And yet, somehow, it's not at all what I was expecting. Come on, I promise I'll tell you all about it, but let's walk while we talk. This spot looks safe enough, we'd better not go any further. I'm reasonably sure I could protect you in a pinch, but better not put it to the test so soon. Look, I'm leaning into this. I feel safe with you, and it might be fun to see you in action. Oh, that's the key to impressing you. I'll try to find a slime to kick around. That sounds too easy. The way I heard it, you vanquished a few monsters already. <laughs> Is that what I said? Because monsters might have been overstating things a little. Uh, but there were rodents with insectoid eyes and spitting songbirds. Well, out of the rats? And the flowers are some very hurtful things. I guess most of the creatures I've encountered so far were less monsters than pests. There's more than I've done. I'm ready to retreat to the first sign of a mosquito. Hey, don't sell yourself short like that. I bet you're braver than you think. After all, there's a common link between adventuring and on entrepreneurship. In either case, you got to be bold. I'll admit... I've got a whole new appreciation for heroes. I'd always sort of pegged the ballads as hyperbolic. But when you're out of here and your blood is pumping, it all feels pretty epic. I think you write a ballad of your own. You know, maybe. I'm not sure there's anything new to be said about the life of an hero, but I'll keep an open mind. For now, though, I'm plenty busy. Yeah, me too. I should probably be heading home... I'll walk you back, just in case there are any of those creepy odd chipmunks around. That's totally something a hero would say. You're getting the hang of it already. You know something, Sylvia? I think you might be right. So what's her hangout? Have a picnic! Sure, okay. Adventure time? I've, I've not seen it, but I've heard decent things. It's just such a cute little chibi, it's so adorable. Right, uh, level 7. She starts off as a level 7. What level's Mint? Oh, she's only got nine. Oh wow, she's got uh, five slots though. So I'm guessing her thing is that she's like low health. Look at that, the little, the little guitar she uses. Yeah, okay, off you go there then. Rock on. And let's go see Luna as well. This is where the magic happens. She's got four arms. Marketing. Purchase marketing plans to create events that increase your potion value. Let's make a plan. A marketing plan. Drowsiness campaign. Fire tonic campaign. Sight enhanced campaign. Ah, I see. Sounds like that's what I need then. I need to, I guess, get lucky and hope that it's something that I have in quantity. I have no idea what you'd like, Fungus. Pretty neat. Sure. Oh, I can rank her up as well. Guess what? It really is safe to go back in the water. Oh, wow. Ocean Coast Floor. Wow. Dwarf Kraken. Ten tentacular Spectacular. Selkie Lice. Coral Fuel. Cool. Ah, purple. I don't know what she likes. A Slippery Tongue. Uh, there's no such thing as a bad present. Yep, she can beat that. Off you go. Oh, I can improve the glass cauldron. That might be useful if I had somewhere else to put it. I think I'd rather buy another shelf. Gift him some ore. Nope, not enough to rank up. Alright. I think I need a better shelf. I think I'll go for this one because I, I reckon I'm going to lean into selling tonics more. Because I need potions for my heroes. The kiddie pool of shelving units, wow. Alright, yeah. Yeah, buy that. Expand the inventory with those, thank you. Gift you another slime. Ooh, these are discounted. I think I might get a load of those. Because, like, these are 30 green, which is really good. If I buy eight of those, 
and three more glass ore because they're still the only bloody blue I have. A gem for Roxanne. Three Nessie pheromone from him, thank you. And have a gem. I need to buy some more of these. A mandrake root for saffron. I don't have enough potions to open the shop again today, so there's no point going back early. I think I'm better off hanging out with, uh, sorry, ranking up Roxanne.